Hello everyone, my name is Maria and today I have a story for you guys. This story is about this kid named Pluck Honeycutt. So there was this little town and this is where Pluck Honeycutt lived. And so when people will saw him walking by, like down the streets, they will say, Hey, hello, Pluck Honeycutt. And he would just keep walking. And people will, they will say hi again. And he would just keep walking. Until people will just yell at him, Hello, Pluck Honeycutt, we're talking to you. And then he would stop. And then he would think, think, think. And then he would remember his name. His name was Pluck Honeycutt. So then he will start waving at them, but while he wave, he will forget what he was waving to begin with. And now, as you can see, no one was as forgetful as Plug, but his mom loved him anyways. So one day he was at his house, and his mother noticed that they didn't have any soap left. So she said, Plug, could you please go to the store and get me some soap? And so, as you now know, no one was as forgetful as Plug. So Plug said to himself, Soap, soap, don't forget the soap. Soap, soap, don't forget the soap. And so he got out of his house and he kept on repeating that. So he wouldn't forget. And so he reached this like really big creek and he saw the chubbiest frog. And it was just so large. And Plug was like, blown away by how big it was. So he started looking at the frog and then he forgot what his mother had told him to do. And so he sat there next to the frog and he was thinking and thinking and he couldn't remember. And then this old lady showed up and she was trying to cross the creek. And so she was using some stones that were in there to kind of help support herself while she was trying to cross. And so at some point, she almost slipped, and she said, Oh dear, these rocks, these stones, they're as slippery as soap. And so then Plug had this eureka moment, and he said, Soap, 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 don't forget the soap. Soap, soap, don't forget the soap. He was so excited, he finally remembered. But the old lady got so scared by Plug yelling that she actually sl like slipped and fell into the creek. And now she was all wet and very upset with Plug. And so she looked at Plug and grabbed him by his head and sunk him in the water. And she sunk him in the water again. And she said, I'm a mess, but now you're a mess too. I'm a mess, but now you're a mess too. And then she stood up and stormed off. And now Plug was a little bit sad because he didn't think he deserved it, but also, he couldn't remember anymore what his mother had said to him. The only thing he could remember was what the old lady said. I'm a mess, but now you're a mess too. I'm a mess, but now you're a mess too. And so he kept on walking to the town, but he didn't know what he was looking for. And the only thing he could say is, I'm a mess, but now you're a mess too. And so he was repeating that. And there was this little kid that had stumbled into some prickly vines and he was, carried some, he was carrying some eggs and therefore there were now pretty much all of them over him. And so this kid was very upset, right? And then he heard Plug saying, I'm a mess, but now you're a mess too. And so the kid thought Plug was talking to him and he got very upset. So he pulled Plug out of the road into the prickly vines and then he grabbed one of the eggs he had left and smashed it into his head and then he said look us in a pickle now look us in a pickle now and then he stormed off and so plug didn't understand why this was happening to him and he still couldn't remember what his mother said and now he could only remember what the kid had said look us in a pickle now look us in a pickle now and so he kept on walking towards the town and he was repeating, right? Like, look us in a pickle now, look us in a pickle now. And there was this man that had crashed his truck on the side of the road against a tree. And now the tree was on top of the truck. And so the man was like, he didn't know what to do. He was getting desperate. And then Plug was walking by 
And he was saying, look who's in a pickle now, look who's in a pickle now. And so the old man got upset because he thought Plug was talking to him. And so he grabbed Plug and he said, now you're going to help me get this trunk out of my trunk. Because you are being funny, but this is not funny. I am in trouble and you are very rude. And so Plug didn't know what was going on, but he ended up helping the man get the tree trunk out of his truck. And so once that was settled, the old man was driving away and he said nothing on top and better off of it. Nothing on top and better off of it. And so Plug still couldn't remember what his mother had said to him. And she, ugh, he could only remember what the old man said while he was driving off. Nothing on top and better off of it. Nothing on top and better off of it. And so he kept on repeating that until he finally got into town. And there was this man. He was very tall. And he had a long, luscious beard. And a very shiny, spotless, hairless head. And so while Pluck was walking past him, he was saying nothing on top and better offer it. And then this man thought that Plug was talking to him about his bull head. And so he grabbed Plug and he took his hat and squeezed it into his head and said, you could have at least said, you look nice with her in your face. And he stormed off. And so Plug was very confused. He didn't know what had just happened but what was worse is that he couldn't remember what his mother said. He could only remember what the bearded man had said. You look better with her in your face. You look better with her in your face. And so he kept on repeating that while he kept on walking inside the town. And then he stumbled into this lady. And this lady was known all around town for being very vain. Like she was always looking at herself into a mirror and she really cared about her looks. But remember, Plug was saying, you look better with her in your face. You look good with her in your face. Uh, and then the lady thought, is this kid talking about me? And so she got really upset and he, and, and he didn't know what to do. And so the lady grabbed him by his ears and pulled him into her, like right in front of her. And she said, your mother should wash your mouth with soap. <gasps> soap! <laughs> Plug was so excited. Soap, soap, don't forget the soap, soap. Don't forget the soap, now he knew. And so he got out of there and he started running to the store and then he bought soap and then he bought soap and he was so excited, he finally knew. And so he started running back home and all the way he was saying, so, 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 don't forget the soap, so, 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 don't forget the soap. And once he reached his house, his mother saw him and he was, he was wet from the creek. He had an egg smash on his head. He was, he had prickly vines all over him. He was covered in dust. His ears looked red for some reason. And so she, she was concerned, so she asked Plug what what happened. And Plug said, Mama, I got you the soap, I remember. He was so excited, and his mother decided to hug him and say, Well, Plug, it seems that soap is exactly what we need. And so, that's the story. I hope you liked it, and see you next time.